Okay, so here we have our soccer player who recently suffered an anterior cruciate ligament sprain. First things first, we're going to do some flexibility exercises, mainly on the hamstring. So to do this, we are going to have both legs fully extended and we're going to reach down until there's no pain and we're going to hold that stretch for 6 to 8 seconds. So I'll ask you to do that. Now once that com that's complete, you can reach a little bit further until you feel the pain. Once you get to that point, I want you to relax a little bit and then hold it just before the pain for 30 seconds. This should help improve range of motion in the knee. Once you're ready, you can move on to stage two. Here we are with our soccer player again and once you feel comfortable doing stage one without pain you can feel free to move on to stage two. In this stage we're going to be isolating the injured leg. To do that we're going to flex the uninjured leg and tuck it into the knee and then we're basically going to do the same uh, flexibility exercise that we did before. So I'm going to ask you to reach down, hold it there before the pain for six to eight seconds, and then we're going to reach to the pain and ease off a little bit until there's no pain and then you're going to hold that for about 30 seconds. Our goal here is to go as far as we can to our end range without feeling any pain. Once you can do that, you can feel free to move on to stage 3. Now that you feel comfortable with stage 1 and 2 of the hamstring stretching, we're going to work into the third stage here in which we're going to use a band around the foot to help you move your leg. It's important that you're able to move your leg at this point before you try the exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the band around the foot and this is going to take a little bit of strain off both the anterior muscles and the knee. And then we're going to lift it up and hold it before the pain for 6 to 8 seconds. Once we do that, we're going to go a little bit farther until we feel that pain. But we don't want to hold it there. We're going to ease off of the pain a little bit and hold it at that end range before the pain for another 30 seconds like we did before. Okay, once you can go through virtually a full range of motion pain-free, you're ready to move on to the strengthening exercises. First off, we're going to start with an exercise on a rowing machine. You can find this usually at your local gym. So we'll start off just by going back and forth. Try not to go past 90 degrees just yet with your knees. And we're not going to be using the weight restriction just yet. Okay, in the second stage of this exercise, we're going to be using the weight restriction. Do this once you feel comfortable in this machine, uh, because it can be strenuous on the knee, but as long as you're ready for it, it's a great exercise for the knee. So you're just going to grab the handle and go back and forth, still not trying to go too far past 90. If this exercise becomes too easy for you, you can always do it with just your injured limb. That way you can ensure that the injured leg is getting all the benefits that it needs. Try starting with a low resistance and you can work your way up from there. The 
This next exercise is going to focus on strengthening the muscles around the knee. To do this we're just going to lift up the leg with an ankle weight surrounding it and just go flexion to about just before 90 degrees. This will help regain muscle around the knee and will all, it will also help with balance. In the next stage of this exercise, we're going to be doing squats. This should only be done when weight bearing is a possibility and all you're going to do is you're going to go down with the arms extended in front of you that will help you keep your balance again in this exercise we don't want to be going past 90 degrees so we're going to stop at about 85 degrees and once you feel comfortable you can go a little bit lower but we're still trying to take a little bit of the strain off the ACL in this exercise when you feel comfortable you can try doing this with only your injured leg 